Okay, so let's take a look at all the parts. This acoustic live version of Youngstown from Late Night with David Letterman, 1995. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because at the end of the video, when we play through the whole song, you'll see tab scroll across the screen. Okay, so this is in the key of C minor. Tempo is quite a slow one, about 77 BPM. I'm going to want to put a capo on fret three for this one. Okay, so let's take a look at the chords first. So we've got an A minor shape here. So, so your standard A minor, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, second fret G, first finger, first fret B. Okay, if you take that first finger off, you've got an A sus2 chord. If you add your pinky to the third fret B string, you've got an A sus4 chord. So you often goes in between them, which sounds really, really nice, okay? Uh, and now we've got a G chord, a kind of a classic Bruce G. Third finger, third fret low E, pinky on the third fret high E. Block the A string with the underside of your third finger. Uh, and then if you add your first finger, he sometimes plays this um, alongside the G. So that's first finger, you just basically do the G and add your first finger on the first fret of the B string. So this is G sus four. Okay, now if you take your first finger off and put your middle finger on the second fret G loves this chord, he uses it a lot. That's a G add nine chord. Okay, uh, and then we've got a C add nine chord. So um, it's like a C major chord, which we are gonna do as well. So C major, third finger, third fret A, middle finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret B, and your pinky like that, uh, kind of a Bruce C. So although sometimes he only hits those four strings. Now often he interchanges between a C chord and then if he puts his little finger on the third fret of the B, you've got a C add nine chord. So you can use either the C for most of the song or the C add nine. I think he's doing more C add nines, but yeah, you never know with Bruce. Um, so that's a C add nine and then C. And now in the final uh, kind of penultimate bar, you're gonna put your middle finger second fret um, on the A string like that. And that'll be a G sus four over. So the penultimate bar, you're going C and basically G sus4 over B, okay? You only do those chords uh, once or twice. So, yeah, not too many chords, not too crazy there. What I'm also going to do now is put the song structure up on the screen. So hopefully that will allow you to break down all the individual sections, see where all the repeats are, and then learn it off by heart. Any chords in brackets mean one more than one chord in that particular bar. Uh, and we'll go through that, uh, I've put like a minor, a minor riff, V1 and V2, which we'll go through. Uh, it's basically riff one and riff two, so it'll simplify things a little bit. Uh, and don't forget, any song structures will be in that drop down menu in the description, so you can copy and paste, put it in a Word file. Excellent, so also worth mentioning, it's very loose timing in places, as a lot of Bruce's acoustic stuff, so sometimes he might extend a bar you know, at the end of a verse or something by a couple of beats. So be wary of that. So I've got the main kind of structure down here, but it will be occasionally loose. Uh, and then sometimes he does add some of these variations where I may not have tabbed them out. So, but I'll be tabbing out, I've tabbed out all the variations. Um, cool, so let's go through the intro first. So basically we're gonna call this A minor riff version one. So this is a one bar riff and it's really nice. He starts off when he's talking to the crowd, uh, he does this first, so. So this is the one bar phrase. So you start off with A minor, two down strokes, one and, and then for beat two, uh, two eighths notes there, you're gonna do two E and uh. So that's down, up, down, up. And on this, those two up strokes, the first one you take your first finger off, um, and then after you've taken it off, you put it back on again for the third strum, and then you do pinky upstroke. So down, up, down, up, A minor, A sus2, A minor, A sus4. Sounds awesome. So that's the first two beats. And two E and uh, and you just keep your pinky down and go down, 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 up, down, up. Three and four E and uh. So one. Two E and a three and four E and. So you're going to do that pretty much about four times in the intro, and now we're going to start the verses. So 
I'm going to go through the first, the second, and the fourth verses, which are pretty much all the same. So you start off with A minor, and this is the strumming pattern. One, and, two, E, and. Again, feel free to change that sort of bass and treble sound. You don't want to all strum all the strings all the time. So sort of bassier strings to start with, and down, up, down, up. So one, and, two, E, and. Uh, and then add your pinky for A sus four. Three, and, four, E, and. Uh. So you do two bars of that. One, and, two, E, and. Uh, down, 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 up, down, up. One, and, two, E, and. Uh, three, and, four, E, and. Uh. And then G. Um, the same strumming pattern, G, G at nine, and then half bar of G at nine, one and two E and, uh, and then A minor. And those four bars you do twice in those first, second, and fourth verses. So A minor, A sus four twice, G, G at nine, G at nine. Really nice and simple, but really effective, uh, and work you know brilliant with the, the lyrics as well. So that's the intro and the first, second, and fourth verses. So let's take a look at the choruses now. So again, choruses pretty much the same as well. Um, all four choruses are the same. So here you've got G first, half a bar, one and two E and uh, then G at nine, three and four E and uh, and then you've got that one bar, so A minor riff version one. Then C at nine, same strumming pattern as the split bar. One, two, E and uh, and G. One, three, and four, E and uh. <coughs> And then you got a two, four bar of G sus four. So just half a bar. One, and two, E and uh. Cool, and then after that, you've got the, what we're gonna call the A minor riff version two, which he does sporadically sort of scatter around the song, um, especially at the end of the choruses. Okay, so here you're gonna do your, your version one bar riff, so one and two E and uh, three and, but then at the end of it, you're gonna go down, up, down, up. So, so beat four, this is the difference between this one and the, uh, version one, you're gonna go beat four, A sus four, take your pinky off, A minor, take your first finger off, A sus two, and then put your first finger on, A minor. So this first bar, this two bar, version two A minor riff. One and two E and uh, three and four E and uh, and then you've basically got your um, version one riff for the second bar. One and two E and uh, three and four E and uh. Okay, so just to clarify again, A minor riff version one for the intro and uh, at the start of the choruses, the second bar of the choruses is one and two E and uh, three and four E and. Uh. and to make it a two bar riff, you've got that bit at the end of the first bar. One and two E and uh, three and four E and uh, one and two E and uh, three, four E and. Uh. This sounds really lush. Um, so that is the, they are the chorus sections, okay? So I'm just gonna go through those chorus one more time. So all choruses pretty much the same. G, G at nine. Then version one riff, C at nine, or C, sometimes he may be using the C, G, two, far, two four bar of G sus four, and then the two bar riff, A minor version two. It's really nice, again, simple but effective. And if you, your, your little finger needs work, this could be a good riff for you to uh, get that nice and strong work at that coordination. Cool, so uh, now I'm gonna look at the third and the fifth verses, which are slightly different from the rest of the song. I'm gonna do C at nine for half a bar, G for half a bar, G sus four for half a bar, A minor for half a bar, and G for whole bar. A 2 4 bar as well of G, and then version one of the A minor riff. And you do, in the third verse, you do this twice 
in the fifth verse, you just do it once, okay? So let's just do this, another round of this third verse. C at nine, G, G sus four, A minor, one and a half bars of G, one, two, and then version one. Cool, and then all we've got left now is the outro section. So let's take a look at that. Bruce just mixes it up slightly. It starts off similar to a chorus section. So you've got G, G at nine, and then the A minor riff version one, but the last beat is different. One and two E and a three and four E and. So on the and of four, it goes into this like mini riff so middle finger, second fret A string, like that. So one and two E and a three and four E and. So middle finger, second fret A. And then you hit the C add nine, one and. And then three, two, zero on the A string, two E and, one and, two E and. And then G major for half a bar, and four E and. A. And then G sus four. This is a three four bar. This last uh, penultimate bar, sorry, is um, G sus four one and uh, down down up G sus four, and then go to the C down down up in beat two, and then to that G sus four over B where you put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, and then A minor kind of arpeggiated to. So hear some separation in the strings. So let's play the whole of that outro one more time. So G, G add nine, A minor, middle finger second fret A, C add nine, one and two E and G, G sus four, down, down, up, down, up on the C, down stroke, G sus four over B, and then of course, that's all the parts of the fabulous um, acoustic uh, version of this song. Uh, I love the electric version as well, which I've already done a video of. Uh, and if you subscribe so you can see that in mental Youngstown uh, electric solo. Uh, it took me a long, long time to work that out. Um, but yeah, so if you subscribe so you do get that video tutorial on there. But if you do get the, the electric version in the tabs, you do get the uh, solo as well. So yeah, any questions about getting this? So this all the files will be available in PDF format or Guitar Pro format. Uh, so you can get those instant downloads from the online store, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Or if you're a Subscribestar, so subscribestar.com forward slash Bruce Guitar, get a bit more bang for your buck uh, and you can get kind of tabs and backing tracks as well as exclusive videos as well, all, all for a cheap monthly price. So um, any questions about any of that stuff, let me know. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications uh, and give the uh, video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And any comments, suggestions, let me know down below. Thanks as always for supporting the channel. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.
to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the subscribe start page or my website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.